Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. Got another, got another um, words of wisdom, my two thoughts for anyone considering buying the uh, 2021 CRF 300L. Everybody's making what I hate about my CRF 300L, and I tell you what, what I really hate about this bike, man, it's not always going to look this good, guys. Man, I know this is going to be mostly a, a dual sporter for me. Mostly highway, some soft off-road trail riding. Not going to do any hardcore dirt biking like I did back in the day. My old body just can't take it no more. I'm still young, but man, man, I'm getting old. Just remember, some of you guys are going to have some garage queens. Man, that's great. That is great. But uh, if you plan to ride this girl now, she's going to get some scratches, custom pinstripes. At the end of the day, just remember, it's just a bike. She's still pretty beautiful. Um, plastics are cheap. Tires are cheap. So get you some uh, get you some protection. Um, right now, you know, we're stock form except for our little uh, cheapo bag there. Um, but we do plan on getting some. We're going to get a bash plate. See, they've got some crash bars for the rally. They say it fits the 300L as well, but I know, man, if, if anybody has any experience with those, I'd like to know. I'm, I might wind up just ordering for, for, for shits and giggles and see how they do. I just don't want them to come out and look goofy too far for the rally because your rally's got, you know, a lot more plastic there. So if you put crash bars, how's it going to look? So we might do that. But yeah, this baby is sweet. You ain't gonna always look like this, guys. You gotta take care of her, though. One day we'll have enough money, maybe we'll have one garage queen, and then we have one we go out and ride hard and put up wet. So, but yeah, as far as hate, man, I don't really hate anything about this bike yet, you know? Sure, yeah, I'm gonna do, once I really get and do some trail riding, yeah, I mean, the suspension's gonna be soft, you know? If you're tall, here, slapping my leg again, call me out <laughs> the um if you're tall you're not gonna like the seat height you know if you're too short you're not gonna like the tall seat height you know it's it's the best advice i can give you guys and gals if, if you're thinking about getting this bike you need to go find one find a friend who's got one go find a dealership who's got one and go feel it when, when you feel it you'll know it that's where I messed up uh, the last bike I bought, sight unseen. Called the called the shop, gave him a fifteen hundred dollar deposit. Drove five hours in the middle of COVID, and picked up that two thousand eleven WR two fifty R. Been one, one for years. Very hard bike to find. So called, found one used. Had like man, had like twelve hundred miles, two hundred bike. Looked a lot like this one. Very clean bike. Too bad it got stolen about a week ago. I sold it to my cousin, so we're not going to be able to do a good comparison video. But I bought that bike sight unseen because I've been researching it for years. I said, man, that's, that is that is the bike I want. It'll, it'll do everything I wanted to do. And then I, then I got it. And it, it wasn't what I thought it would be. It didn't fit like a glove. It didn't fit like a glove. Yeah, you know, it had the power, had the suspension. It just with my body type my my inseam my short little legs my arms it just didn't it didn't it didn't fit me man will i get another one down the road sure yeah i'll have another one just you know just to have one i, I love having a shop full of bikes but um but yeah i mean if my aunt, my cousin didn't need a bike want a bike I, i'd still have it and it, you'd be seeing it right next to this one because that's just how i i like bikes but yeah be careful buying new bikes that you've never been on sight unseen. Um, research only goes, goes so far and all your research, just like the video you're watching now, this is my opinion, this is my two cents, and this is how I feel about this bike. So do your due diligence, guys and gals. If you can find someone who's got one, get out there, feel it, touch it. Touch it, sit on it, feel the seat height, feel the suspension. You'll know, man, I like uh, a few videos ago I did of why I bought this bike. When I sat on this bike, I knew 
this was the bike for me. And I was like, man, I'm going to buy this bike. And I actually left the dealership when, when I sat after I styled this bike. I left the dealership and I got about four blocks down on my way home. It's about 40, 45 minutes from the house. Got about four blocks. And I said, you know what? I'm going back to buy that bike. Turn around, went right back to the shop. Boom. I bought the bike and I didn't have a trailer with me. So I, you know, went back that, that weekend or a few days later and picked and trailered it to the house. And that was just, just felt right. It, it was me. It, it fit me like I wanted it to. And, and I, I, I love it. So you'll see more videos of this one and you'll see a lot of it. And just remember, end of the day, it is just a bike. Hate it, hate it, love it, whatever you want to do, but get out there and ride. See you guys. Thanks for watching.